Hey Aries, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily New Year's Eve reading. Let's see what's going on with Aries. At the heart of your reading, we have the Magician. You are working some magic to get your way here. You have your eye on a certain objective, and you know you have everything it takes in order to get the job done. The challenge is... You're trying to zero in on your purpose in all of this. You're trying to stay um, aligned with your like your higher purpose. Um, you may have been getting some intuitive hits from your higher self in regard to like what do you feel pulled toward? What do you feel called to do? Let's wow three major arcana right off the bat. Um, in your focus, we have the Empress in reverse. So you are working on building up the way that you present yourself. Um, the Empress is very alluring, very um, attractive, very nurturing, but very capable and in control, very powerful feminine figure. The fact that we have her reversed in your focus means, well, one of two things. The Empress is um, also represents fertility, so it, it could be the desire to get pregnant. Um, and then the, the reversal, you know, the, the challenge being like, that's your focus. That, that may be what you're trying to manifest. Um, for those of you who are not trying to get pregnant, this manifestation uh, could be more along the lines of bringing out your inner potential, like leveling up, embodying more of your true self. Let's see what led up to this in the recent past. We have the Knight of Candles and the Four of Presents reversed. A declaration of passion um, after deciding to stop clinging to the status quo. It's like there had been a period of time where the passion wasn't, um, wasn't the motive. And this person, I, I believe this is you, this feels like you, that you'd been um, kind of just holding down the fort, okay with the way things are. And recently, your spark got fanned into a flame and you're, you're like, I need to act on this. That's the beginning stage of, of what you're trying to manifest now. Let's see the energy of your environment. Rebelling against the status quo. Exactly. The Hierophant in reverse represents a um, bucking the system. Let's see what's coming up next. Queen of Needles. Decisive action. Seeing things very clearly in a way that can be easily communicated to others. She's like the master communicator because she sees, she sees things so clearly she sees the deeper truth of a situation or the broader truth of a situation that a lot of other people miss she's also very good at explaining that or or um educating others when necessary she's not pushy about like forcing you to see it her way but she definitely sees the greater truth so i think you're going to be getting a in whatever um, capacity you aren't seeing, like you're striving to see something clearer, that's going to come into focus very quickly. Your surprise energy, we have the two of potions and strength. You're going to derive some inner strength from a partnership of some sorts. Could be a love relationship, could be a friendship. Um, but it's it's something with strong emotions where there's a lot of give and take. Like you're so um, you're so connected, you're so committed, or if not committed, like bonded in some way. There's just a bond that you guys share, and you're able to derive support from one another. That's going to come as somewhat of a surprise to you. Let's see your hopes and fears. What is Aries hopeful for? And what are we concerned about 
Justice. You guys are rocking it with the Major Arcana card. This is telling me it's kind of a broader theme, which kind of makes sense because I did set the intention of bringing forth potentially messages for the new year. Um, so this is uh, could be setting the tone for you know how you want to enter the new year. Your hopes and fears, we have justice. You want to make things right. You want to be in alignment with karma and with the universe. And the end result, we have the Three of Needles. This is having an opportunity to face the things that are, um, like let the sadness go and move forward into the new chapter of your life with a clean slate. So you're not gonna be bringing any of those, at, like no baggage, you're leaving your baggage at the door. Let's see what advice we have for Aries for this New Year's Eve 2020, and then as we embark on the new year 2021. Okay, we start off with that clarity that you were seeking, the Ace of Needles. You're on the right track here um, with the Queen of Needles energy that you'll be embodying. You may need to get to the bottom of some some sadness, some loss, some grief, some 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 kind of um, I'm trying to think of the right word here. It feels like like an uh, an emotional injury. Like you know when you have like an well, some of you may know this, like when you have an old injury and most of the time it doesn't really bother you. You don't even notice it. But then sometimes you'll bump it or the weather will change and like your elbow will start hurting, your knee will start hurting or something will just reactivate it. So it's like that old wound can kind of pop up unexpectedly. This is that energy of like, you still got some emotional wound or like, and I think it's something that you've moved past already, but like I was just giving the analogy of like physical wounds, those emotional wounds can also, you know, get triggered and pop up unexpectedly. So, especially on big events like New Year's Eve, you know, you might have some emotions come up, um, you know, about where you would like to be on New Year's Eve or where, where you're looking to move toward in the future. You know, some of us get into like that life review mode of, well, how did 2020 go? <laughs> uh, let's not go there right now. <laughs> but looking toward the future of, um, you know, where you want to take your life from this point forward. And like I said, you'll get an opportunity to kind of um, put a salve on those emotional wounds and heal it somewhat so that moving forward, you'll have a much uh, clearer slate, clearer understanding of where you want to go next. And you'll have an opportunity to learn what it is you really, really want. Um, this isn't saying just like, well, I would love a boat or I would love a, a new car and this is exactly the type of car I would like. Because it's not as much about the material things that we want, it's the way we want to feel about our lives. That nine of potions is a wish granted. So, the fact that we have it coming up as advice, coupled with the, the energy of the Page of Presence, that's the Page of Pentacles in this deck, it's a very um, open-minded attitude toward what it is that's going to make you happy. So you're learning, you're investigating, you're wanting to apply new skills in order to bring about that happier you, that most idyllic happy you like how let's try and max it out how happy can i be it's that sort of an energy so if you embody that moving forward that'll help you best make use of the energies at play aries it's been a pleasure reading for you this year thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe i appreciate all of your support i will see you again tomorrow have a great evening take care be safe and i'll see you tomorrow bye